to the start of our professional room. The professional men are on the way. We now welcome our professional women to the start line. Ladies and gentlemen. over the world right here at towards the end of, you know on the on the back half of your career anyway the back quarter uh this isn't selling him short but he's not at the beginning he's towards the other side he gets to take this as a really good memory for the rest of his career and rest of his life oh absolutely and and i think you know we'll hear him say it and, and i'm sure they'll ask him this this race uh in front of a home crowd has got to be you know he's had some brilliant races in his career and some outstanding performances but this you know I'm going to answer the question for him. This has to be a highlight in a place that means so much to him, uh, surrounded by family and, and, and friends and fans. Uh, it, it's going to be one for the memory books for sure. That's right. Yanos on the left, Ambrosier on the right, first and second place. One man fighting for the glory of first place. The second man fighting for that coveted Kona slot. Only one on offer for the men and one for the women. Today, Didi, it really looks like Josh has done just what he needed to do to get that slot. Just enough again. You know, <laughs> I, I don't want to call it because we still have a hard uh, charging third place uh, and anything can happen here. We see, you know, his turnover, Josh, as that is, start to slow down a little bit. The stride is starting to shorten up just a little bit. <laughs> But the closer he gets, the more he knows, hey, I've done my job today, managed this race just beautifully. He's just got to get there. There you go. He's just got to do it. It's just we're sending you good energy. We're sending it to everyone. But look at that, a runner getting a little five back and a shake of the hand because this is Ineko Yano's legendary <laughs> Basque athlete, legendary. His wife is racing today. His son watching probably family members all across the country, if they're there, have come to watch him. Ineko Yano's friends, family, everyone's embracing the man. And it's fun to see. Dave even said, man, sentimentally, Dave Scott said, I'll take uh, Janos for the win. And, and, and why wouldn't you? It's, he's a very likable guy. And I think even amongst his peers, very well liked. And that's, a, that's, a, that's you know, it's not always. As every, nobody will say a bad thing about this man. You know, watching Enico race, you know, other races around the globe, he's usually very composed. Um, he doesn't show a lot of emotion. But all day today, He's shown the emotion. We saw the smiles on the bike as he went through crowds of people. Yes. And, and from the start of this marathon, he's been fist pumping and high fiving and, and really indulging the crowd and, and, and smiling throughout the marathon. And you can just see the delight that he has. You know, we talked a little bit, you know, we heard his, his interview. There's pressure involved. There is pressure in racing this race. You don't want to disappoint. You don't want to let anyone down. 
He didn't have a lot on the line in terms of his Kona qualification, but he felt the pressure to perform in front of his his countrymen, in front of his hometown. <laughs> and and here he is. Again, this That's is so a good. guy we don't typically see a ton of emotion from, and I love seeing this. This is awesome. Oh, and, and the people that are racing, the people on the side, I mean, he's getting high fives across the road. He's crossing over to reach these folks back left and right, left and right. The smile's got to be a mile wide. This guy, look at that. And that's just what you want to see. Man, lighten his feet more. He's just going to take more. You've got to, Didi, right? Yeah, Savor absolutely. this moment. Absolutely. I, I hope he had his teeth polished in advance of this because <laughs> that grin's going to be there through the finish line. And, and I guarantee for days and celebrations to follow. That's right. Well, I mean, don't you polish your teeth every morning, Didi? Come on. I mean, that's kind of like saying you get up well, and Well, professionally stretch. speaking, oh, that's, you, there know? You, go. You, you get the pearly whites on. There we go. No, that's couldn't be more true. There we go. Euskadi, the Basque country is what we're saying here. And these lead bikes are helping him <laughs> yeah. rile the crowd up. He wants more of it too. And why wouldn't you? This, an inaugural Ironman event in your hometown. And his name is Aneko Llanos right there. It says it for those that believe anything is possible. And here he goes. What an incredible vibe. I don't even think anyone can hear themselves think right now, much less uh understand these incredible cheers that are screaming at this man he wears bib number one doesn't he i can tell you the athlete he just passed is, is getting a big boost from it too he's picked up his pace you know he's getting a little adrenaline shot from uh running behind him here on his as he makes his way towards the finishing shoot and and what just what a great boost for all of the athletes around him right i mean the crowd is going nuts and they can soak that in and, and what a great experience for them as well there you go, and he's going to get to, uh, I mean, everyone across Facebook land, uh, on course with him, all the Spanish athletes, everyone that's getting a piece of this, and uh, and it's so special. What a great day. Let me just run with you for half a step. It's going to be worth it. This man was running an eight-minute kilometer pace, and now he's running a three-and-a-half uh, just to keep up with Janos. But here we go. You can see the finish line as he jumps onto the red carpet. Didi, we have it now. The winner, Ironman, Victoria Gasteiz. It is Aneko Janos. Look at that. Well, I tell you what, that's pretty special right there. You can see it, his son, young son, young son John, only about five years old right now, uh, there to embrace him at the finish line. Pretty special moment to see your dad win a big race right there in front of the home crowd and Fred Necco to make it eight, number eight, the Ironman titles that he has, and this one, clearly the most special. Uh, there's no, there's there gotta be no question about it, Didi, just to take home that title as we watch Josh Ambiger still holding on to that second place spot on the right side of your screen. You love to see the emotion. And again, he's, he's acknowledging the crowd. He's giving himself a hug, but in doing so, giving the crowd a hug, uh, thanking them for the support, which no doubt fueled uh, his fire all day long. What a brilliant performance from, from this, I'll say it, young man here today. There you go. <laughs> Seven hours, 55 minutes, and 16 records. Of course, it's a course record, but what a time. To a big part of the victory is thanks to the support of the crowds, uh, the, the people who was cheering there, my friends, my family. All the city was cheering for the, all the athletes, and uh, yeah, uh, I, I have to say thank, big thank you to all of them because it, uh, it gives you a lot of a lot of energy and motivation to, to keep to keep pushing. 
Lap one and two on the run, you looked happy, high-fiving, smiling. Lap three was hurting, and then lap four, the celebrations could start again. Yeah, I, I had about, about time on, on lap two, but then I recovered. And uh, yeah, lap three went very well, and then lap four was was pretty pretty good too. And that's when I, I, I thought, well, if nothing nothing goes wrong, and I, I, I'm gonna win. And, uh, and I also was checking the clock, and uh, and I thought I could go under eight hours. So for the first time here in the Ironman in Victoria, it was a special thing also to to finish fast. Indeed. Just talk to me a little, about the, little bit about the crowds, because when you finished, they screamed so loud, my ears were hurting, I couldn't hear the music. Yeah, I, it, it was difficult to control the emotions today, because you get to, to the city center and all the people cheering, and you get very emotional. <laughs> and it's difficult to, to, to run when you almost want to cry. <laughs> so yeah, it was uh, amazing, it was fantastic.